Today, State Senator Roland Gutierrez unveiled more bills in response to the massacre at Robb Elementary School that happened last May. At the start of the 88th Texas legislative session, Gutierrez said he would introduce multiple bills and resolutions throughout the five months of this session. KVU's Natalie Haddad was at the Capitol for that today. Today, State Senator Roland Gutierrez announced here at the Capitol that he is asking the state for $2 billion for school hardening. But as it stands, the state Senate only allocates 600 million. Still, Gutierrez says the state has the money. State Senator Roland Gutierrez was joined at the Capitol by families affected by the Robb Elementary and Santa Fe High School shootings as he announced a package of bills that looks to prevent mass shootings. Now, the bills have several goals, starting with increasing school safety, improving emergency response protocols between state and local public safety entities, and radio effectiveness in rural counties. Now this comes from law enforcement radios not working and being ineffective during the mass shooting in Uvalde, preventing what could have been life saving communication. Now with these bills, the state senator also wants 10,000 new cops, at least one for each campus who is trained in emergency response to mass shootings. It's my hope that one day we can actually say that we had a bipartisan bill like they did in Washington that actually does something positive. These people are telling those people and those to do something. It is time. State Senator Gutierrez also made an appropriations request to provide funding for safety measures in schools and mental health care. He also wants to create a monument to mass shooting victims in the Texas State Cemetery. Now, two weeks ago, State Senator Gutierrez released legislation that is related to local and state law enforcement accountability. Next week, he says the new round of legislation will be related to guns, ammunition and accessibility to both. At the Texas State Capitol for KV News, I'm Natalie Haddad.